Welcome back to my Calico Critter series and we are following up with some more of the town play sets. So these ones are called fashion play sets. I think there's only five of them. I believe I have all five. So there is one character for each one. Um, I was thinking about doing each one individually but I think I'm just going to open them all up because there's just a you know one one character plus a bunch of like clothing and accessories and I'm going to put them all into the um keep saying mall but they called it something else what a boutique the department boutique store or something so yeah uh we're gonna start with this is sugar sweet collection and it is it's definitely one of the marshmallow mouses i remember that much when i was looking into it this one is a little banged up so i'm just gonna go around the edge and try to cut open all the tape See how easily it opens. All right, pops right open. And I just realized I had missed a couple of the books, so I will read those eventually. I was miss I missed the Maple Cat Girl because she was Miranda, and then I missed the Creamy Gelato one, I think. But I will get back to those eventually. I don't think these ones have stories, as far as I can see doesn't look like it so we've got like I said a bunch of little pieces and the character which because there is no storybook I don't know who it is how to wear the parasol how to put on the shoes okay so we currently don't know which marshmallow mouse this girl is as far as I can tell I think it probably said it like when I bought it like you know the description because it just says sugar sweet collection the other one says town girl series town girl series so we're just gonna assume she's one of the marshmallow mouses she's got little hearts in their ears she's a little cute girl she's got she doesn't stand up very well does she is her feet messed up is that her tail her dress Everybody else stands up really well, but she just keeps flopping over. Oh yeah, her legs are super messed up. Okay, let's try that. There we go. Okay, so she's got her cute little wardrobe. Um, this dress is actually, ooh, it's a whole outfit. This is actually really cute. Um... I don't know if I like it on her, but it is a cute outfit. No, she won't stand up again. But her legs are like bowed or something, so I don't know if because she was crushed. Let's just set her aside. But, oh, I thought this was part of it. It's like pantalones, I think, maybe? Pantaloons. So, um, I guess we'll just stick that right in there. I'm going to save this for... Did I just drop something? Oh, no, just garbage. So I'm going to save this for um, the boutique in the mall. Kind of got the little shawl to hang from it without falling off. I guess that's kind of what they want you to do with it. And then we've got a parasol. Some pumps, as it called them. A couple of different types of handbags, one for each outfit and a necklace pearl necklace versus a pink headband so i am going to put the, the necklace doesn't go with that outfit but i'm going to put the headband on her i think or is it a bow oh it's a bow but she's already got two bows on her dress i mean doesn't that look like overkill gross okay goodbye so we're just going to put those in the bottom. And yeah, so that's the little Marshmallow Mouse Girl. Let's see. Next we're going to do the Persian Cat Town Girl. Again, I don't know if she's specifically someone special. I honestly can't remember. They're called Silk Cats, but I can't remember if what the family name is beyond that. Unless it's just Silk Cat Family. But I know, like, the hopscotch rabbits are, you know, the hopscotches. 
And then her Stella's boyfriend is Cinnamon Rabbit. So I don't know if these are just silk cats or not. Because I, yeah, I did buy their family. I just haven't gotten to them yet. All right, let's see. bits out. She has a fancy dress um, form. Ooh, she's got like a little a little um, rose quartz looking -y necklace. I'm going to put that right on her. Yeah, there we go. And then she's got like a fluffy underskirt. I'm guessing it probably goes underneath that like the other one. What? Her legs are gangy too. You guys aren't as good of quality as the other ones. I can't even like get you to stand. Oh my gosh, look at her tail. is like a fat bodily thing. What are those? What's the word I'm looking for? Um, pipe cleaner. Ew, it's kind of gross. <laughs> okay, she's got a hat. Which, oh my gosh, look at it, styling. And we've got a couple different types of purses. And then she's got her own set of pumps. And she too has a parasol, but it's closed. All right, let's slide all these guys over. Let's see, this one is the Tuxedo Cat Girl. She looks kind of nerdy because they give her glasses. So she's like the Velma of the group, I feel like. There we go. Now I'm not dropping everything all over anymore. All right, she too has a necklace, pearl with a little diamond. I actually think that's pretty cute. I'm gonna put that on. I really wish this was a headband, but again, I think it's supposed to go like on her neck because I wasn't able to get the other one to stay on the bunny. I mean the mouse, yeah. Hmm. I guess it does kind of go better with this, but I don't want to, okay. But here, look at her nerdy little glasses. Aw, she looks like a school marm. There, I like that better. <laughs> she's actually pretty cute. All right, let's see. Ooh, she stands. We've got this cute little floral skirt for her with her little undies. She's got a bodice and knickers, okay. She too has some red pumps. Oops. She has a dresser as well. I'm gonna put these all right in the department store and display everything a little better. And then she has two types of purses. This little red clutch and this little green one. I actually like the green even though it doesn't really go with her outfit. The red would technically go better, but I don't know, it's cute. There we go. All right, this one is actually a fashion playset, but it's specifically the Jewels and Gems collection. And I think this is part of the um, boutique. Like it, it was like part of something else and then they made a singular one, if I remember correctly. All I know is I remember seeing it displayed in the boutique at one point. I don't know if I saw it like in a video somewhere, like from the company itself had done that design or if I saw it somewhere else. More tape shut. Again, I don't see if this is a specific hopscotch rabbit. But now that we know that, I'm just gonna look at these. Oh my gosh! I just found out where all the information was that I've been seeing. On the one side, in tiny print, 
Okay, so let's go back. So, this is Felicia. I'm going to actually keep these because I'm never going to remember who's who. So, let's see if I can tear that out of there. Okay, great. So we've got Felicia the Silk, or Felicia the Tuxedo Kitty. We've got Alicia the Silk Cat. Wow. Alicia and Felicia BFFs. Can't believe it. And then Miss Mouse is Stephanie. She is a furniture designer. Okay, cool, cool, okay. So, Stephanie the Mouse is a furniture designer. She's good at it and she's so curious. She comes up with all kinds of ideas for wonderful furniture and knows just how to arrange them to make a room look beautiful. She loves pretty outfits with ribbons and frills. She's also good at choosing knickknacks that stand out. Stephanie is Catherine Marshmallow's, Marshmallow Mouse's older sister. And honestly, I think I don't have the marshmallow family either. I thought, again, like the rabbit one, that it was overdone and like I would have all the people. Oops. So I guess I'll get the, both of those. So Alicia, the silk kitty, is a model to all girls, a model that all the girls look up to and always draws attention when she walks through the town. The secret to her popularity might be that she has her head in the clouds and is often seen practicing dances her father taught her by herself. At the same time, she always goes through with something she's decided and always tries her best. Alicia is Lyra's as Skye's older sister. I think Lyra and Skye are these twin kittens that I have. So I must have her family. I think I have both the cat families. And then Felicia is a popular photographer for a fashion magazine. Her photos are very popular because they capture her subject's very best features. Everyone respects her leadership as she efficiently leads each photo shoot. She enjoys spending quiet time to herself on days off and is a romantic who likes traveling alone. Felicia is Rose's and Lily's older sister. And again, I do have the Tuxedo Cat family. Now, I can pull out this one. So this bunny right here, oops, didn't know that would happen, but all her jewelry just fell out. She's got pumps similar to Marshmallow Mouse. We've got various jewel bejeweled bracelets. Um, I think this pink purse was hers. Um, another bracelet. Ooh, and a purple one. Oopsie doodle. Um, pumps bracelet what was in I don't know what was in here oh this fancy diamond necklace and this gaudy thing okay so this is actually really pretty why do they have her in a nighty? I don't know so we've got this which you can open it up and trade out the jewels. I will do that once they are settled over at the boutique because I'll probably walk and shake them all up. So again, this is Ruby. She is the editor of a fashion magazine. She enjoys her job very much and always wears the perfect outfit. When she's very busy, she wears blue because it makes her feel relaxed. When she's feeling tired, she wears pink because it makes her feel more awake. And when she wears simple clothes, she wears big jewelry to jazz them up. She has a big collection of jewelry and looking at it always puts her in a good mood. Yeah, I feel that. Alrighty, so then all we have left is this dog. I wasn't actually going to get it because, I don't know, the dogs in Calico Critters are just kind of ugly or creepy or something. But I really wanted to have like all the shoes for the boutique and everything. I mean, I guess she's not too bad. So... Let's cut into her, which means I should probably buy her family, I guess, maybe, depending. I don't know what her family does, but it sounds like this whole friends group belongs together. Fashion photographer, fashion magazine, fancy fancy. Okay. 
flip this around so I don't go flinging everywhere. Okay. So this is Melanie. And look at she has a pipe tail cleaner tail too. Um, she's always on the go. She loves walking and she takes walks around the town whenever she has time. She dresses in simple grown-up colors, grown-up colors, and loves shoes. She has all different kinds and can always choose just the right ones to make her outfit look perfect. Melanie is Carly Carmel's dog's older sister. So there is a family and obviously it just has the two kids. Most of the family has like two kids and then like two twins or like two kids and an older one that's how these guys are they have two kids and this older one i think the huskies and the silk cats have twins i think somebody else has twins but i can't remember who oh my gosh i have a twin set but it's only a mom and twins and they're guinea pigs they're not the cutest but they're guinea pigs so we've got the white and black pumps pink pumps yellow pumps and then we've got these are actually kind of cute these silvery sandals oh i realize i also took out this hat that's pretty cute um yes please i also think i'm going to eventually change her into these pantalones instead of oh well i like her pants actually i just don't like that yellow top so yeah i'm gonna find a different top for her because she's way cooler than this and all of these guys have really really bowed feet so i'm gonna have to work on getting those fixed because none of them want to stand okay so again we've got these tiny silver sandals which are adorable we've got some oh these cute blue flats a couple of blue, blue flats and then we've got like this is why i thought she was a guy when i first looked at her and i passed up on her because i just got her in my most recent order but she's got like these shoes so i saw like the hat and the shoes oops and i thought she was like a gentleman collar or something yeah the hat goes on this way Alrighty, so i am going to go put them all in the boutique and get everybody's closet set up and make it look like a fashion runway over there all right well i hope you enjoyed this boxing of calico critters town series i think that's technically it for the town series and once we come back in the next videos they will be just the regular calico critters like the various houses and families and play sets that go with them hope you enjoyed bye